Hey there, saplings. My name is Danny, and welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today, I have a book review for you. It's been ages. This one is The Salmon in the Spring, The Ecology of Celtic Spirituality by Jason Peart. This book is much more dense and packed than the books that I usually review. People are often asking, like, how to get started in Druidry, so many of my books that I review on this channel are ones that I found useful when I was first investigating Druidry, or just typically get read um, by those looking for information on Druidry. This is not one of those books. This is a bit more academic and really more involved and investigative on the topic of Celtic spirituality, myth, and environmentalism, sort of. The author spends a lot of time retelling and in really engaging with the Celtic myths that we associate with Druidry or other Celtic pagan practices. The author is a great storyteller and I really appreciated some of the insights he brought to these myths. There's a lot of quotes and sources from other experts, academics, authors on these myths, on the topics that the author writes about. So it's really an interesting look into diving deeper into some of these topics. So the bibliography is really interesting in this book and I would recommend checking it out if you're looking for more and diving a little bit uh, more nuanced looks at some of these topics. If you're already familiar with the ideas of Celtic spirituality, um, if you're already familiar with Druidry really in an intimate way, you're going to find this book fascinating and refreshing because it does dive deeper and gives you more. If you are unfamiliar with those topics, I feel like this might be a big challenge for you to feel involved in reading just because it is heavier and denser. I would say that I was a bit surprised because I thought since the subtitle was the ecology of Celtic spirituality that there'd be a bit more sciencey ecology and and really talking about the environmental topics and that's in here but but not from the perspective that I thought it was coming from. So for me kind of only a four out of five stars just because it, it it didn't quite live up to that subtitle for me but it's written really well it dives into topics that we don't often get nuanced in conversations about in the way that really we we should be at this point i appreciated that as the author was retelling these myths there were also some personal experiences and personal narratives and being retold here that made it really fascinating and you get this interesting mix between myth and ancient and present living which is really what Celtic spirituality brings to the table in a in a way that we don't see in other paths is this balance between both living in the past and honoring, recognizing those ancient myths that, that back us up, and also living fully in the like modern present. You know, one thing I get comments on on this channel is that I'm not like reconstructionist enough for some druids, which is fine, totally, you do your thing. But for me, Celtic spirituality is all about knotting the two together, you know, living both in the moment where we are acknowledging all the gifts that we have around us, all the problems that we have to solve for the future, and living and honoring the ancient paths of our ancestors and the traditions that we come from if, like me, you, your ancestors biologically come from Celtic lands, which is a lot of Europe. And this book also really reinforces the idea about Celtic spirituality being tied to the land and the spirit of place, and that's where we get a lot of the ideas of ecology. So if you're looking to explore that aspect of your path or Druidry more, then this is really going to be an excellent read. I would say that if you're someone who liked 
John O'Donohue or Frank McEon. I can never say his last name. I'll put it in the description. Um, then this book might be a really excellent read of similar elk for you. In the comments below, let me know what you are reading for the Yule season. A bunch of us have more time off. Maybe not, but um, I at least have a couple days. So I will be reading some new books this Yule season. What are you reading this Yule season? Thanks for watching, and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.